Look at this, guys. We've got seafood cut up and ready to go. Thanks to my man Jerry. While I was on the stream, he was cutting up seafood. So now we get to go feed the monster fish. Okay, everyone. Big old handful of seafood. What's up, Brutus? You want this? Oh, look at that. Brutus just went to town. All right, let's throw some more in there. Get some chum going in the water. Lots and lots of seafood. Let me tell you, the gar's coming over. Everyone coming over. The catfish. Oh, Bruiser got some. Look at that. Bruiser is looking mighty big. And then Brutus comes over and says, you're not big. Gar coming up. Look at him. He's about to get that piece. Get him. Oh, he didn't get it. Catfish just got some. So they are definitely slower at taking the fish, but they do eat it. And it is a variety in their diet. That catfish right there has to be about 45 pounds, I, I would say. He is a big boy. Bruiser, want, want some more? Oh! Look at that. How fun is that? Come on, Brutus. You want, want some more, bud? You want some more? Oh! <laughs> How fun it is to feed Arapaima. I love them. These guys are just so fun to feed. All right, let's go feed a few other guys. So I've got all this seafood and some hungry mouths to feed around the rescue. Okay, so in here we have our breeding Matoros. If you guys know anything about Matoros, they were once considered one of the cheapest fresh water rays and nobody wanted them. But now they are making a comeback and you, you see pups for sale. Oh, the male was just getting them some. So uh, if she's not pregnant, that male will definitely be probably flipping her over soon and plugging her. He is going at it. Let me tell you, that guy is feisty. She had four babies last time. And uh, now next time she might have six. And I see Matoros going for like, you know, three, four hundred bucks now, which is insane. So let's go ahead and toss some fish in there. The gar in there. You guys know these gar are going to Mr. Brian Barcheck, which I actually have some more fish coming for them. We've been finding some sweet deals on some really awesome fish. So I know I, I pho phoned my, my friend and he's like, yes, I want it. G get it. So we are really going to have Brian some freaking awesome stock here soon. There we go. So on razor breeding, you really want to up the amount of food and that, that'll definitely give them that little extra confidence to say I'm ready to make babies they are really going after this stuff I'm gonna give them a bit more there we go three more big chunks them gar will definitely make an easy snack out out of it come on buddy look at that big boys stingrays are going to town I'm gonna go ahead and let them clean this up just a bit let's go on to the next tank what do you say we give some to the Paku and the catfish down here BAM Paku are gonna make a quick easy snack out of the, these ones let's go there we go we got big old chunk let's see who wants them red tails are on it There we go. You guys know a bunch of these fish are going to go to Brian as well. I've got some monsters here just waiting for him. It's also going to help us clear out a bunch of room in our tanks. Alright, they made a... Oh! Catfish got some. Let's throw a little more in. Bam! Oh, the bass got some. I really want to see this red tail fatten up because he came to us real skinny. So I'm trying to fatten him right back up because he is like a 32, 34 inch red tail right there. 
but he could be a lot fatter. You can see he's got a tummy on him. I just got, got to get him to have them fat reserves, and then he will be a very impressive catfish. So, you know, things I'm go going to send to Brian, of course, I'm going to give him red belly paku, a black paku, albino paku. We'll give him some red tails, a niger cat. Shh, don't tell him. We're going to give him some marble cats. Like, we're going to give him some great, awesome fish. He's not going to leave here and have a 100% predator tank. He's gonna have some awesome stock, let me tell you. Okay, so we just gave Mr. Tesla a scallop over here. Oh, he's lighting up that sign. Uh, he is just doing little flickers. That is sad. But he will finish the rest of the scallop. Let's feed the rest of these to the 4,400 gallon tank. They are over here. Wait, let's see if the gooch will eat a big old piece. Here we go. Come here, Mr. Gooch. Oh, he jumped at it. But he does not want the fish. Oh, the datnoid took it. Wow. All right, let's throw the rest of these ones in the 4400. I got to take the lid off the top. Bam. And then go ahead and put... All the fish up in there oh man that stuff is dirty 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 how fun is that red tails are on it fly river turtle the air one is love it fly rivers coming over he'll probably get himself a piece Clown knives, arowana, there we go. Tarpon already had a piece, he might come down for war. Let me make sure there's none up top here, we're good. All right, and just like that, that is done in the 4400. I've got another tray to feed. Let's see who else we're going to feed. Hey, I can't walk by and give the, not give the pakus a bit more. Oh, there goes some salmon. Oh, you guys are gonna love that. Ooh. All right, guys, we got some stingrays over here. Let's go and give them some of the smaller chunks. They will tear this stuff up. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that stingray. Eat up, guys and girls. Feast, my minions. Oh, man. So it is so fun just to watch my fish eat. I absolutely love it it is so cool so fun okay the last bit of fish are gonna go to the bigger rays we've got a tub up here I kind of just gotta toss it in the hole you guys can see all this food going down the hatch there we go. And the stingrays are going crazy. Oh my goodness. They are going to just eat the crap out of this. God, these stingrays are so beautiful. They look so great tonight. Or maybe it's just the water. Or maybe it's me. But man, oh man, they look phenomenal. All right, guys, I'm going to let them enjoy their food. Hope you enjoyed the little awesome feeding video. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Phone a friend. Tell them about OFR. And, you know, as always, stay fishy, my friends.